Hello everybody, welcome to round one of the NAF Rules Cup, a 32 player knockout tournament. We've got Will King with his lizard men up against Coach Morg, who is the founder and chief admin and just all round uh, governor of the NAF Rules ladder and cup, so fantastic to have him in it. He's using Skaven, not his usual humans, that he seems to love so much. He's gone with the KFOG. Uh, Skaven build um, for Eurobowl, the double guard, storm worming, <laughs> sidestep, wrestle, strip, block, gutters, juggernaut, obviously rat ogre, and a leader thrower. Um, what I would have done this if I was him is I would have benched the sidestep gutter as well, right? So you've got the guaranteed one turn, you've got the leader and the and the sidestepper, so you've got like your best possible one turn on the bench. Uh, that's generally. The done thing in this kind of situation, um, Will King hasn't gone six block. He's gone five block and a guard. I don't hate that, but I'd go six block. And he's taken the 12th player and only two rerolls. I quite like that in the, um, what's this overtime. called? Overtime format. Yes, thank you. Without overtime and in Swiss where you have to get the wins, I'd go three rerolls. You know, so I could push my luck more um, against the, the, you know, the games that you should win that you have to win in six inside 16 turns i can push my luck more and, and win those games like get the turnover touchdowns on defense rather than just stopping them stuff like that um but in this kind of situation like you you're gonna get banged out you're gonna you're gonna get people players hurt so having the 12th man i think is quite good and uh i don't know who won the toss but you know probably i would kick as the skaven right because Offense can be a drag, and it's good to know where you what you have to do on offense. I think I think it is worth kicking with Skaven in, in this situation. Yeah, I think lizards would um, kick potentially. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Not much anti blitz defense here. This is a very aggressive. So this is. Uh, I should really make a video. I could do racial setups, you know, because there's a <clears> really <throat> good racial setup for lizards and. You put your Croxigo in front of this guy, and then you put, you know, a Bloxaurus there, and a Bloxaurus there, and then a Bloxaurus here, and like a Skink there, and you can just like fully chevron the whole field, right? And that's what he should have done, basically, because uh, this is this was very susceptible to a Blitz kickoff result. I, I think versus Skaven, you have to do that setup, right? Because you're only really scared of the Blitz. You know, you, you don't need a sister to, to smash people with, with, with strength four block. Yeah, <clears throat> I also think these skinks could have ran back already. Yep, yep. Because they're going to be running back, right? There's, there's no doubt about that. Is he going to free dice the uh, bloodshot with the Croxagore? Yeah, so I actually quite like them. Yeah, not fully far back because. Skaven and other Agile teams kind of want to get into this area right behind the line and split your team. So I quite like trying to occupy that area so they can't get in there and cut you off. Oh, oh my huge. god. Oh there my god, he bit, he bit him in half. That was amazing. Instant, full uh, instant dead guard. Oh my I god. I mean, it's. And then base the shipper. Oh, now the Croxagore is getting very good though. Oh. Fails to pick up. Fails to pick up, and one of his. No, he did not use the reroll. Okay, well, he's instantly the gutter's coming down, no. and so is this one. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I like running the skinks back, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, but they're, they're at least like you know guarding this central area, so that if he picks it up, he's getting in there. It's, it's better than it's better than losing this central area. Oh my god, he's he's cast his own player. Oh, well done, Rat Ogre, most reliable big guy in the game. Fantastic. Oh, man. <laughs> he needs a casket to make up for it. <laughs> oh. I love seeing a rat ogre fail. Oh. I think he's feeding him the guard for next time. <laughs> well, he can't blitz four gut runners. 
You know what I mean? He's just going to make the pickup, right? It's just you just there's no point in like protecting anything, right? You just you fail the pickup, you lose. So you plan for success. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can get up to here, so you can make like a big thing of us, whatever there. Yeah, you can put the guard in and then three D the stripper here as well. Yeah, yeah, the stripper or the sidestepper. I but think yeah, I three D the, the stripper, stripper yeah, because yeah, you've and got the skin, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot, but you, you, you definitely don't think about like you know what? Okay, yeah. The oh, it's just two D's. Yeah, you got to make this a three D. I think it's a power. Wow. Yeah, I think you've got to make that a three D. And I, I hate bringing this back because if you pick up, if you fail to pick up, you've just lost. You know, don't, don't, don't plan for. And the fact that this guy's gone in, right? That could have definitely been the guard of there, and then that would have been three. Yeah, 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 could have been a three D. <clears throat> One, two, three. Yes. And dodge the skin cap. <laughs> glorious <laughs> Baron Bookie. That does sound a glorious evening. These games have been crazy, by the way. <laughs> Oh yeah, the yeah the one in particular. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Oh, he's just punching. Didn't want to use the right angle. I wonder mm. if you foul in here. That's hard though. Oh, he rolled nine on the AV as well. If it had been the roger, he would have broken AV. But I like not activating it, right? <laughs> well, he wouldn't. He wouldn't necessarily, would he? Because he would have rolled the uh, uh, animal savagery. Yeah. I know what it was just. Oh, you've got to say stuff like this, Dimmy. Don't you? You were able to go at me, mate, the other night. You were saying you can't think like that. Now, now it's it's all changed, Jim. It's all changed. Well, yeah, that's because you said it, and this time I said it. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, no, you you can't say that at all. No, of course not. It was, it was ludicrous. I I was just being ludicrous. But, it's ludicrous. Uh, <laughs> ludicrous. I like this having the guard, you know. So you've got the guard. You, oh my god, Dimmy, you you were Venger bussing versus Tree, and you kept doing it wrong. You kept doing it wrong, but uh, Will King has There's done it right. Guard on the top. Yeah, yeah guard, guard on what on Ooh. the side that what, that hasn't got the other guy in. So we can we can do it here. Um, so that if you block from this square, the guard is always assisting, and if you sack from any of any of these four, then you've got this guy. So I mean, obviously, Vendor, guard is yeah. stopping this is stopping this one. So if you're here. He's already in the cage, but if if the guard is one of these corners or there, then they can come in there for the one D. So that's why you need either a player here or a guard in one of these two, um, to have the ultimate Venger bus. Oh my God, Venger bus is a good one for the uh, concepts. Gonna put that in. Oh, you going for this? Yeah. Oof. Uphill strip. It's not terrible, is it? But um. Oh, wrestle. You went with the wrestle. No oh, wrestle. Okay. I was, uh, Same difference. I was I was typing in my Discord. <laughs> but I just before before I forgot, you know, because uh, I have got this plan to make a bunch of YouTube videos. Uh, it's not easy. It's not easy being one. Jimmy. It's going to take a while. I mean, I've got all of the racial guys to go through, all of the racial setups to go through, and then I've got to like collate all of these concepts and try and order them and work through them. It's going to be it's going to be pretty brutal, but I want to do it, so I'm going to do it. Fantastic. Thanks, Tim. I I I think so. <laughs> Rogue ball. Yeah. There just isn't. There just it just doesn't exist, right? There, there's no like blood ball strategy things it just isn't so just doesn't exist not even like you know written not not just videos there's not even anything written really about blood ball like there's the thousand losses playbook but uh i, I don't rate it I'm, think I'm sorry don't rate the thousand losses rate uh, thousand i don't rate the thousand losses playbook there is the uh thing about the art of blocking that's quite good that tells you like the basics of like you know one in nines and stuff like that and 55 percent to knock people down 75 that sort of stuff but uh i, I mean think... that's not strategy is it that's just like maths <laughs> maths hard maths 
Yeah. I think uh, when he did the right ogre blitz on the guard, or he should have pushed him into the other square, like on yeah. the right instead of down, because then he just cancelled his own assists. Yes. And then plus he got blitzed through the square that the guard would have had to stand up in. Yes. Agreed. Um, I, you know, I I do like hitting gutters, but the problem here is. It is just a it is just a five plus in, isn't it? And into a one D. So I don't know if he's going for it though. He might not. He's not. Oh my god, just get a cars. Cheeky cars. He might go for it with this one. Oh he, no. It's three dice uphill now, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Not dead. Yeah, he didn't go for it. I mean, he could have done the right. It was like, this is the only chance you're going to get. You were like, going to go for it. He went for it on the Venger bus and then didn't go for it on the x Yeah, so Yeah, this is your last chance. You're getting a 1D. You're getting 5 plus in. If you don't go for it this turn, he's off next turn. Um, I guess you still got to see you can still reach. <laughs> Silly Jim. I forgot gutters are fast. But still, he should have other things in the way, like the Crocs, yeah. Yeah. I feel like uh, maybe Will King could have like you know dodged with a skink to try and like make it a H cage you know a little bit, but you know it's hard to argue with just punching gutters, isn't it? At the end of the day, you can even take a bolt down, even though you've got stunty, just even take a bolt down to try and hurt him because gutters are better than skinks, <laughs> basically. And he's still at eleven as well, right? Uh, he's Got two cars, but yeah, well, he really needs to chip something. Yeah, yeah, it makes such a difference the one turn. No, <laughs> given the uh, not really art, not really. We did discuss it at length. <laughs> Oh no, God! It, my, 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 do you know what? I just thought Art said. I think I just saw my my, my chat just jumped to like an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, get your excuses in. Well, how else could I have responded to that? That was so Sorry. weird. <laughs> like, what were you responding to? <laughs> Art saying, I think Art, Art. It just came up that Art saying, uh, I think the kick rolls are all right. I thought, why has he fucking said that? But I still responded. But it, and then and then it went back to modern times when it when Randall Collins. <laughs> modern times. Modern times. Modern times is of course the name of the podcast that's going to happen soon. <laughs> is it? Might be now. <laughs> <laughs> if only it was magic, we could do a magic podcast and call it Modern Times. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand that at all. Oh, it, it's good if you know Magic the Gathering. Not obviously, you know, round. What is it? What is it? The Magic Circle? Not not that kind of magic. Not magic Paul Daniels. Yeah, it? not Paul Daniels. Though Paul Daniels is my hero. Oh. <laughs> just, we're, just, we're just men, just normal, innocent men. In modern times. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> History from an hour ago, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god anyway yeah. one turn coach mog two re-rolls um lost a guard blitzer but still has 11 players it has a sidestepper so he can go for the uh yep this, this one here phil bosh easy and he's going for it straight away well it is a replay so that's why he's going for it straight away he's going for it straight away oh my god oh, and he gets it. blitzed Oh my god, instant, instant full pow. That was oh, yeah. so yeah, dangerous, he didn't even fill in the two squares. And he casted him. Oh my goodness. 
So, Will King, <laughs> what you had to do was fill in these two squares first <laughs> and then blitz him. And he just, he powed him and cast him. Oh my god. That was insane. That was, that was mad, wasn't it? I've done that before, to be fair. Like, because you just get a blitz and you jizz in your pants and think, I'm going to smash his fucking gutter. <laughs> but, like, if he pushed him, he's just made this one turn easier. Flip me. That was insane. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, thanks, sir. It isn't that good. No, but it was funny because of the, how mental I was saying modern times, right? So it would have been it would have been funny, like as a as a kind of in joke. It would have at least made it wouldn't have been funny, but it would have made sense. As opposed to me just saying modern Oh my god, you shouldn't have activated you kill your own guy. <laughs> There's no one turn now, is there? This is this is like nonsense. He hasn't got sidestep, he hasn't got enough to do anything. Um Wow. Wow, that was crazy. Um, oh, thanks, Squirrel Dude. A, a message from Modern Times. The first episode of Penguin is pretty good. Thanks. Yeah, I, I read that the, the, you know, people said it was pretty good. Um, but I, I, I haven't watched it yet. I will, I will watch it. Oh, it's so brutal for him with the bits and the sides. Yeah, that was, that was a tragedy. That was an absolute tragedy, but I've definitely yeah, been, yeah. I've been in Will King's shoes, honestly, I remember, I literally remember doing it, I just got like a blitz and I just, like, I think I had like, you know, chores to dwarves and I just fucking smashed him with tackle. And, oh my god, yeah, I just smashed, I just like, basically jizzed in my pants and smashed him with tackle and then like, pushed him and made the one turn easier. <laughs> what the hell? Wow. Okay, that was. This is aggressive. He's going for the win in normal time, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's running out of rights. Yeah, like only marginally. That was like very risky. Very risky. Um, An Olivier viewer. <laughs> <laughs> like, because you're going to surf a Saurus, right? Like, so maybe just leave the ball there, right? And go for the surf first. Really? So, yeah, so that. If I think you it's get, better than throwing it, yeah. Yeah, so if you get the surf, now you're a player up for the whole drive, so then, then go cautious. But if you if you don't get the surf and you haven't removed him, then you do this play and, and bang it in early, right? And, and go for the win in normal time. So I think that was probably the play um, to see how it developed. Because, I mean, getting the surf is, is just incredible, isn't it? Downosaurus now, now you really want to make this half last. Get one gone. one, beat him in overtime. But yeah, maybe not. You know, like maybe not. The Skaven are kind of always on the clock, aren't they? They're they're gonna lose every prolonged. Yeah, overtime. Oh man, he's just getting smashed. Yeah, yeah. So maybe the fact that you're gonna lose any. Oh, there's the concept of inevitability in Magic. The Gathering. Walking stands for one reroll. He is. Yeah. So oh, he's gonna put the box on the ball. Oof. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rush. Yeah, Crocs. He's definitely gonna put the Crocs on the on the. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just it's a rush in it. That's what yeah, he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Do it last. Oh my God, he rolled a one. <laughs> it was only on one. I would have definitely put it on both. I would have a million percent put it. On yeah, both. yeah. I thought. You, yeah. Why did he do that? I don't know what. He it, it just teabagged him. <laughs> yeah, he did. did <laughs> just back him. That was incredible. <laughs> oh, wow. On the ball, look at that. Oh my god, what? Oh, spicy. Again, no regard for the Blitz, and absolutely should have 100% defended the Blitz. Like the, you know, now now the Skaven are down to nine players, right? And everybody knows what scare. Oh my! Oh, his last oh. reroll. Oh, because he's left the ball on the floor. Yeah, it is on the coxicle though. It is, it is. But you know, this this guy could have moved first, right? This one could have come up. 
He could have just done this thing, could have come over, he could have made all these safe moves first before that 2D block. Maybe not before this first initial 2D block, but before the blitz he could have definitely made a bunch of safe moves. And he's got no reroll for the pickup either, is it? Oh um, my god. Yeah, I don't hate doing the blitz first, but yeah, he could have definitely moved some safe moves first and, uh, and got that. And even this guard, alright, could have just come over here. Like, this is pretty scary. Oh my god, he got it. Wow. Okay, straight in with a roger. Oh. Well, he's got the gate dodge, but not many got was left to do it. And he got two guys left, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. They're both on the ball. They are. And we've got blockers basing skins, which is quite good. What's not good is your strength, is your AV eight plus guys getting smashed by a block player every single turn for free. It's a bit of a problem. The reroll in there, yeah. It's a bit of a problem, yeah. Well, he's got no rerolls in here, so he's just thinking, just base, base, base. If he dub skulls, I might win. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's 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 completely valid from Coach Morg. It's just it just not nice, is it? Because they're just going to smash the fuck out of you. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Oh, we did that one block plus as well. Mm -hmm. to free this one. Yeah, to free up this one. Well, he's dodging he's gonna have then, to dodge, he? yeah, he's gonna have to dodge with the ball. He can't surely just block. He, like he can't just block. Oh, well, where's he go with this? I guess he's just blocking. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, I think he probably should have sent in the, uh, stripper. Right, the stripper, stripper yeah. Uh, there are two pushes on a dice gym. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean, less turnover chances with the stripper. Plus, the stripper was like, you know, it was hard to cancel the assist from that square, right? So... It was it was tough. It was tough. Maybe he had no choice but to go with this, honestly. I'm sure he would have preferred to go with the stripper, but just how do you like you know, you have got to blitz with one and collect with the other. Yeah. Oh. Oh well, you can completely clear you can just clear it now, can't he, with this blitz, yeah. Wants to surf a million players, but yeah, not a reroll. Oh yeah, he can surf the uh, wrestler. I think you just got to do the the safest play, which is just do that <laughs> one. Yeah, would lo would love to have a reroll, so we could have made multiple surfs. But yeah, just has to just has to do it as safe as possible. Oh my god! And there you go. There's the dub skill. Very next nice roll. Instant two D on the ball with block. Yeah, this is insane. Yep. Ooh, I don't like moving him first. Oh my god. Gets the full power. I don't, don't really like put, yeah, I don't like putting near the crocs either. Because now it's what? in a Croxigore tackle zone, which is a minus uh, one. Yeah, that was questionable. Glorious. Mm. No, I won't give in. Shadow in. Until I'm victorious. Does nothing. But Everybody is surprised. <laughs> I will defend. Oh, shadowing. Thank you very much, Nifty Wire. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh yeah. Absolute oh disregard God, for the shadowing. shadowing yeah. <laughs> Absolute disregard for shadowing. I wonder why. Maybe it's because it's rubbish. Nobody knows. Oh, yeah. Didn't punch with the roger. Well, the problem is he'd have to get his other guy surfed, guaranteed, wouldn't he, for the chance of a blockless block surf? Yeah, I guess. It's pretty rough. Paul Powell's the guy. Paul Powell, yeah. If he picks this up, I think it's 
It's looking pretty good, isn't it? Mm. Just a dodge. I guess he had to, didn't he? Well, no, he could have. He could have. Yeah, but then if he blocks the roller on the ball, yeah. So he. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, it was a 75% knockdown. So. There's something to be said for hitting it and then just going for it next turn, right? He started two turns, but. I really can't believe that he put it croc side. Yeah, that. Yeah. Uh. Do not like that. I would have definitely tried to free up the crocs. Or just not activate it. Mm. It's probably because you really do need you do really do need to like free up the crocs and move them. I think. I think that's so much better. Like getting the crocs down here, you know, just completely tidies it up. Oh, not even close. Nice to get. And he gets to surf and foul. And yeah, this is basically over. Not a million percent. <laughs> As Daedal would have you surfed, believe. He could have surfed the rest of all, right? Instead of the... Instead of the uh, yeah, line he was prone, there was no way to do it. Yeah, if you just put put the guy in the square in front of him and then push the guy into the rest of the guy. No, he was already on the sideline. Yeah. He, he would just get surfed, wouldn't he? Like that's how oh, I serve people. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'd be like, why is he still there? <laughs> Where'd he go? I've, I've, I've thought that before, to be fair. Oh my god. Can he go? Oh, is he? Oh in? my god, he could reach. Oh no, just a base. Uh. Oh my god, can he. Oh my god, what is this? It's rats, isn't it? It is rats. Oh, it's the shadow in. Makes it again! And oh, that's makes the dodge harder! Him. Oh my god, why didn't it stop him with the dodge harder? Oh my god, what is this? Oh, he was <laughs> so close to getting the 1D. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> It's the pal. And Will King wins two one. You did say you did say you hate rats, Jimmy. Yep. Yeah, they just they just do things like they're they're too very like the the funny thing is I quite like playing with lizards, right? Because I smash people with my seven strength four people, but like rats are just like so dicey. I just don't like how dicey rats are. That's the problem. Uh, like that's what I don't like about the rats is just how dicey they are. So, and I don't like that whether I'm playing with them or against them. So yeah, I'm, I've never been a big fan of rats, but like you know, I've played them before, especially in the old rules. Um, but yeah, and like they, they are powerful. It's not that I, I don't think they're powerful. They just I just don't really enjoy using them, and certainly don't enjoy playing against them. But you know, um, congratulations to Will King. Commiserations to Coach Morg and thank you very yeah. much. Dimmy G. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you everybody. Any anything to say about the game there? You sounded like you wanted to say something, Dimmy. Uh no, it was, it was interesting, like <clears throat> I mean the blit like I feel like uh Wilkin definitely got lucky on occasions, but then like I don't know. It was a bit of a weird one really. A bit of a weird one. I like obviously failed the GFI, didn't have any re-rolls, and then but the, the rats just got banged out really, really quickly. Like that's the way you beat rats. At the end of the day, you just bang them out. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, funny, you know. You know the uh, the fumble one four five club. Yeah. S somebody was like saying, I've I've always struggled to, to stop gutter runners. Uh, how, how, what's the secret? And I'm like killing them. <laughs> if, <laughs> you just basically can't stop them if they're on the pitch. <laughs> It's not really a secret, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that, that, like that's it. That's it's the only way you can stop them. Like it really is. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can surround them and hope they fail, but like you're just hoping that you stop. Like you, you can't proactively stop them. You can just slaughter the rest of the team. You can kill them. You can surround them and hope they fail, but you, you can't just, you can't like stop them reliably. You just, you just can't. Uh, they're, they're yeah, horrible. you just have to try and cage correctly and just base stuff up, base up the edgy freeze. 
but like I say, it was, the, it was like him losing the one turn. Like the the one turn defense wasn't the best from what we've seen from Kafo, right? So yes, yeah, it was. And then like, and then to get the blitz, <laughs> and then to not fill the squares, and then to Kaz the side stuff. But <laughs> yeah. it was like every time he hit a goal on it, it died, right? Like to, like yeah. in in the second half specifically. But. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and then Morg like pushing the ball towards the Crocs to go like it, oh, I would have loved to have known when that ball would have gone had he yeah. pushed it the other way, but could have just been a mistake know. as well, you don't know, do you? Like these things happen and then like you know you can Ah just, yeah, when you get excited. Yeah, yeah, you can just say like, you know, we can only say what we see, but you know, maybe he just maybe he thought of like, you know, getting the recovery somehow and stuff and you just don't know, do you? But yeah, I do I do feel like get away from the Crocs is, is definitely a, a solid plan. Um Right, so there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.